guys, welcome back to another video. And yes, I did catch a nine pound bass and I'm going to show you that in this video. I caught my nine pounder, that is a new PB for me. The exact weight was 9.6 pounds. I think it was 28 inches long, 18 inches wide. It was a big fish. So I'm gonna show you guys that fish and me catching it in this video. But I'm gonna give a little bit of a backstory because there is a little bit of a backstory to me catching this fish. If you guys don't wanna hear the backstory and you just wanna see me catch the fish, I will tell you the time right down there. That's the time you gotta skip to. And that's when I'll start catching the fish. And uh, yeah, I wasn't really worried about getting the right shot of the camera. My little camera was angled right and everything, but I wasn't trying to record it. We just wanted to get as many pictures as possible, get all the weight and stuff, because this is a once in a lifetime fish for me. So I'm trying to get it on my wall. They're trying to find a replica place, place to probably put it up there on the wall. Um, it'll look really cool, just crazy. It was actually the first time we've ever fished that pond. So I'm gonna sit down and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about what happened that day. And then you guys can finally see me catch my 9.6 pound PB largemouth bass. Let's get into it. So guys, pretty much what happened was I was fishing, I was trying to finish the um, my first NTB slam. If you guys gonna wanna go watch that, I will link it right up there if you're watching on computer. And if not, it will be on the end screen so you guys can click on that link and watch that video. It's a great video. So we went out there and our goal was to finish that video. We ended up finishing that video and we had some spare time so we just went out. We went to a new lake, which is actually where I caught my nine and a half pounder. We had never fished this lake before. It was on the golf course and it was just a lake. There was not a lot of structure around it, but there was a lot of grass. And as soon as we pulled up on it on our bikes, we saw like 15 bass spook out of that grass and they all darted for this one tree. And I spent a little bit of time pitching by that tree, trying to get them to eat. I did have one, like as soon as it hit the water, he came out and ate it, but um, I missed the hook set. And then I pretty much just started casting on the edge of the grass, seeing if any bass would come out. And the bait I was using was actually a 3.8 inch Gugan Squat Saucy Swimmer in white. I had a Texas rig with the bullet weight. Probably my favorite swim bait. But yeah, that was the bait I was using. And I casted and while the bait was in the air, there was actually some fish chasing a, some bait around. Maybe be a little shiner, some bluegill or minnows. But uh, the fish were very active feeding on bait that day and I cast it. And I cast it about maybe five feet away from where the edge of that grass was. So I landed here and this was the edge of that grass. I was pretty much swimming it in and he bit right at the edge of that grass. And probably like, I would have to guess maybe like four foot of water at the most. Um, but yeah, and I honestly thought I had a lot of grass on because I don't think he realized that he was even hooked yet. So I hooked him, but he just stayed still. He felt like a log. And then I think the fish finally realized that he was hooked and he started fighting like crazy. He jumped out of the water. And as soon as he jumped out of the water, I started screaming. I'm like, this is my PB. Cause it, it crushed my previous personal best of seven pounds, four ounces, which actually caught off camera. It was insane. The fish that I did catch in the $15 Walmart video that I will link at the end screen and if you're watching on computer, right up there. Um, I'm pretty sure that might have been around 8 pounds, but my official PB was 7 pounds 4 ounces. I caught him on a topwater blooper by the Goon Squad. And yeah, so that fish totally crushed my PB. I was not expecting to catch that at all. And then Jacob, my friend who I fish with a lot on this channel, he actually landed it for me. I was reeling it in. He, got really close to the water and he looked in, he got it in. And as soon as we pulled it out, he called his dad. We were like, oh my God, this is the biggest fish we've ever seen. And it was crazy. So we got the weight on it. Hopefully I'm gonna get a replica. If I do, I will show you guys what it looks like and everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the video where I catch my PB 9.6 pound bass. Hope you guys enjoy. Something's chasing, something's chasing. Come on. Or I just have a butt ton of grass. Oh my god! He's huge! Giant! Biggest fish! This is my PB right here. This is my PB. This is my PB. Giant. Absolute giant. Giant. Big fish. PB. PB. 
He's my PB. Giant. No, he's a freaking toad. Keep him down, keep him down. Real, real, real. He's a freaking toad. Reset. No! Reset, reset. Do another oh. reset. Just make sure it's in there. Don't use it too hard. Oh, I thought it was He's giant. My PB. Oh this my. could be my PB. Look at me. Oh. Giant. Fish. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Please, please, please get him. Please get him. Go here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! Oh my god! Oh! I'll give you get the fish freaking. Oh my god! Fish trippers, you're going fish trippers. Get the pliers, get the pliers. That has to be at least 10. This is going on my wall. Get the, I'm, get the, I'm gonna get the measuring tape. Do you have it? I'm emptying your bag. I got the measuring tape. Hold on. Where's that? Where's scale? Scale's right there. Use fish strippers. Use fish strippers. Zero out. Zero out. Zero out. Oh my god! Was I recording? I was recording. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nine six. Oh my god! What? Oh, hold it, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Let's take a picture of this. Here. Dude, that's like a wall mount. That's a wall mount. Mm. Right. Measurements. Oh. Picture. picture, 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 picture. Picture. Gotta get blue light on it. Uh, the light's this way, right. so you take it from over there. Let's go. Get another one, get him one more. I'm gonna go like that. And then one more of the stomach. Just let him revive him, revive him. Oh, oh my god. That scared me. That was like a shark. Look at that fish. <laughs> I should have gotten one like this. So guys, there it is, my 9.6 pound new personal best largemouth bass. Um, the pictures weren't that great. That final one where I'm holding the fish does not do the fish justice. It was so, so fat and so big. I mean, I kind of made a mistake. I, I only took one fish, one picture with the fish and it really wasn't that good. I wish I would have taken more because I just, it's a fish of a lifetime, so I was just in such a rush to save the fish and just put it back in the water because it was out of the water for a long time. But there are plenty of those fish, and even if we had to revive it for a few 15 minutes, like even if I had to revive it for 15 minutes straight, I would do that just to get the picture because that fish is, it just, it was insane. It literally came out of nowhere. I think I caught like one more fish that day before that. I mean, it was like a two pounder. I mean, it was insane. So thank you guys for tuning into this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and go smash that like button if you guys like big bass because I surely love big bass. And drop a comment down below of some video ideas. So thank you guys for watching this video. I remember, keep fishing for giants.